Hitting a ball from a snooker isn't easy and it's barely half the shot so I'm going to be showing you how to hit the balls, keep it safe and maybe pot the odd thing or two on the way. This is Break From Life. Welcome back, and if this is the first time you've watched one of our videos, then it's fantastic to have you here. Let's start by looking at the basics, what you need to do to hit a snooker. As the balls are lined up in a line here, hitting the halfway point on the cushion between the white and the pink will guarantee us we hit it, just like this. But as I've already shown in the video that's in the card right now, playing the shot with side spin can drastically change the point on the cushion where you have to hit the ball, and playing it at speed can affected as well, especially if this means you don't hit the ball in the center. Other ways you can get out of snooker is to very simply play a swerve shot. I could easily play this off the cushion here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike down the, on the cue ball, hitting it in this position, and because I'm striking down on it, it's going to spin all the way around the black and swerve back towards the pink. And we're just going to clip the pink on the edge, hopefully, here. So this is your three basic ways to get out of snooker. Off a cushion straight, off a cushion with side, or playing a swerve shot. But there's more to it than that. Let's look at this shot I'm playing here. We've hit the reds and not given away any points. Look what happened. I've left an easy red on and an easy black on and anybody playing now if they play the shot correctly could split the reds everywhere and score a lot more points. So I haven't given away a few points but I've given away a lot. So even playing this shot and missing the pack like this will result in only me giving away four points because they're unlikely to be able to hit the red. And this is why snooker has what is known as the miss rule. And this is what the miss rule is for in snooker, to try and prevent players taking advantage of a foul shot by letting their opponent have the balls replaced and making the player play the shot again. Now if you'd like to know more about the rules of the game, like the snooker jump shot rule for example, then why not check out that video on our channel page, as well as a load of other videos that will help you dominate at the game, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. So let's look at what you can do when you are in a snooker. To start off with, I could play for this red, but it's a lot harder than playing for the pack of reds because I've got a larger target to hit. Now if I play for this, the reds on this side, I'm going to have the problem that I'm leaving a good chance of a pot on the next red. So what I can do instead to make sure the shot is safe is play the white across the other side of the table and then play into these reds at a very slow pace so I don't move very much. What you want to do when you snook it is prevent your opponent from having a pot and if you can't do this prevent them from having an easy shot. Now when the reds are open like this it's a lot harder and you'll end up having to play shots like playing that thin off that to get safe on the top cushion which hasn't left anything straight forward on and I've got a similar shot here. Now I'm going to take advantage of the fact there's three reds together to get back safe here but if you're down to one red this is a very tricky shot but this is a lot better than playing into the reds hard and trusting your safety to luck. When the balls are all spread open like this another thing you can do is take advantage of balls that are close to cushions and it's important to get behind them and try to block any sort of pot if you can. When you're playing the miss rule this does give you a chance to play a shot where you leave the ball a little bit short like this so you don't want to be erroring on the side of overhitting it you want to be erroring on the side of under hitting it so when you play the shot again you know the correct line and know roughly how hard to play it. Swerve shots are rarely the right shot to play because you can lack a lot of speed and control on them but sometimes like this it is the right shot to play where you have a lot of room for error on speed and direction. A few quick things to look out for here check that there's any plants because you may be able to get one of those um, you also, if there's any balls near a pocket and you can knock them in like this because if you play this right you'll probably win the frame from it and there's not a lot that can go wrong if you miss it either. Always try to play a shot as well on a line where if you miss it you're not going to leave anything on. So if I play this off two cushions like this 
this can't leave anything on until I go a long way past the yellow and I've just hit it and that's more or less a perfect shot. When you've got simpler hits like this one you want to be playing them with more control. I'm trying to find the top cushion here so what you really want to be doing is playing at a correct pace. Now I've got away with this in some way because I've played it badly and hit it half ball. You want to be playing them as full on as you can and playing with control if you can and on this sort of shot you can't do that. You've just got to play it at a pace that's got a good chance of going safe and remember not to play it like this where when you miss it it's gonna end up snookering you and this would be a very bad result in the game but sometimes even if you play it at a good pace you get it full you get a good hit on it probably very unlucky kiss on the blue otherwise it may have been safe we've stuck it up and that's probably the end of the game so it's all about getting the speed right that's the only thing you can really do on this shots like this now here's this shot that not a lot of people know how to do because when you're in a position like this I can't play behind the black with side because I'll never get enough side on it to hit the brown. The blue's in the way to play off the side cushion of one cushion like this and the closest I can get is about there so that's not easy. Now I might be able to play round off the other side and play around two cushions and I might be able to see half the brown playing like that but if you play this with a lot of backspin and a small amount of in this case right hand side it will actually square up off the cushion tremendously see that I've hit how far down I've hit the cushion and how much that squared it up knowing all these little tricks in a game can help dramatically like knowing the correct position to place the white to make the color clearance very simple it's all about knowing where to place the cue ball and if you can do this then it means no matter what your ability you can clear the colors give it a go it's in the video right here it'll give you a complete guide to clearing the colors or if you want to improve your positional play try our video how to play a screw back shot in snooker and remember don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel see you later